Hey, what's up? This is Cody Bohr with Go Hunt, and I'm here to go over my 2021 Nevada muzzleloader elk hunt. Uh, this tag is kind of a lifetime dream of mine, and I uh, drew it with 10 points here in Nevada. Uh, we're going to be camping out of a wall tent um, and then driving up or hiking into the hills every day. Um, so don't have any kind of tent here. Obviously, it's just going to be a massive wall tent. But first off, I'll go over my sleep system. Uh, got a good old mushroom pillow from Thermarest. It's just a good, comfy, lightweight pillow. And since we're going to be pulling up to camp in a truck, it's nice to have something big and comfortable. Um, I'm also going to be using a Stone Glacier Chilkoot 15. Uh, the temperatures are going to be in the 50s during the day and somewhere around the 20s at night. So the 15 degree bag should do me just fine. Um, as for a sleeping pad, I have a Big Agnes Q-Core and it is just a massive, massive, very comfortable sleeping pad uh, that I've enjoyed for a long time. Next up, I'll hit the backpack. Um, good old Mystery Ranch Beartooth 80. It's just kind of been my go-to for the past couple years. It holds everything I need and uh, is fitted to me properly. So just really enjoy it, it works great. Next, we'll jump into some clothing. So for gators, like most other guys, outdoor research, uh, expedition, crocodile gators, they're just really good, I enjoy them. They work great for me. Um, as for boots, Hanwha Galverstones, these things, they're just amazing boots. They're comfortable. Uh, they've held up so far and I uh, can't wait to put some more miles on them. And the good old Crocs. Crocs are life around camp. If you don't have these things, you're missing out because uh, they're just lifesavers when you get back to camp. It's nice to be able to take your boots off and kick back. Uh, we'll go into some gloves next. I usually carry these Outdoor Research Expedition mitts for glassing. Uh, they're just nice and waterproof, warm and lightweight, and uh, enjoy those. Uh, most of the time I'll be wearing either some fingerless wool gloves I got from Amazon or some buffalo hide gloves. I just like these things. They're hard for things like cactuses and stuff here in Nevada to go through, so I just kind of keep my hands protected and put a little warmth on them. Uh, as for socks, I'll start out wearing some darn tough 2011s. It's good comfortable socks and if it gets real cold I've got some uh, thicker farm to feet socks that I'll throw on. Uh, underwear, good old Duluth Trading Co. Normal underwear. I have uh, a Kuyu this is a super down ultra jacket. This thing's nice and warm. A good insulation layer, puffy jacket that I like to use. I've got a Kuyu, I think it's a guide jacket. Yeah. So I've got a Kuyu guide jacket for an outer shell that I'll have with me most of the time. Uh, just kind of depends on the weather and what we'd run into up there. It's been kind of hot this year, so maybe I won't need that. Uh, my good old lucky go hunt hat. I've killed quite a few animals in this thing already, and it just kind of seems to be my good luck hat. It's nice and worn in, love that thing. These are my Kuyu attack pants. These are kind of just my go-to everyday pants when I'm hunting. Uh, they have nice venting in them, so they I can cool myself off if I need to, and they're just nice and warm for me. I really enjoy those things. Under those, I'll usually rock the Kuyu 145 zip-offs. If you don't have a pair of zip-off long johns, you're missing out. These things are uh, just absolute game changers, in my opinion. Keep me nice and warm on the side of the hill. As for a base, once again, a Kuyu 145 Merino wool base. Um, I like a hooded base just because I wear them as a normal shirt a lot and it's just nice to have a hood on it. This is kind of a mid-layer piece for me. I usually have this over my base layer. Uh, it's just a sweater from Kuyu. I'm not sure exact, the exact name of it, but it's a, just a synthetic sweater. It's pretty warm. As for rain gear, Kuyu Katana. This stuff, I've had it for a couple years now and it's just, just great rain gear. It holds up for me. It's pretty durable and uh, doesn't ever wet out. So there's the pants and the jacket. And that's it for my clothing system. Uh, next we'll move to this bad boy. 
This is an Arrowhead 45 caliber inline muzzleloader that I'll be using. Running an Atlas bipod on it this year. These things are just absolutely amazing. Um, with the scope on them, they can shoot up to 800 yards. Uh, here in Nevada, we have to use iron sights. So we're pretty much limited to about 300 yards with iron sights. And uh, it's just, I'm really, really excited to get to use this on my hunt. Thanks, Ryan, for that. Um, now just going to a little bit of a cook system I'll have. Uh, like I said, we're staying in a wall tent, so we'll have a stove and all that stuff to cook on. This is my Optimus Crux. It's just a good old lightweight uh, stove system I'll take with me for some mid-morning coffee. Or if we decide to uh, have lunch or something up there and pack some meals in, just a good old little backpacking stove. This little guy, nice and lightweight. And uh, it definitely does what I need it to do. As for a kill kit, um, I've got these caribou game bags. These things have uh, held up through last year, so I'll be using them again this year. Um, I usually carry some loss and rope with me just to hang meat in case we need to. And then the Outdoor Edge Razor Light EDC. Uh, I've got a bunch of blades in here for it. And then I also like to just carry good old surgical scalpels. They seem to work pretty good for me and uh, help me get in on like the detailed skinning and stuff like that. Something else I forgot to mention is this Rugged Ridge rear support. Um, I started using this last year on recommendation from Brady and I just absolutely loved it. It's a great rear support, lightweight to carry back into the hills. Um, some more miscellaneous gear. Um, I shoot photos. I have a lot of electronics for uh, shooting photos, shooting video, uh, GPSs, phones, whatever. I um, always like to have this solar charger with me along with this just massive brick of a battery. Um, I can get two camera, char two camera batteries charged out of this thing and charge my phone five or six times out of it. So that's always nice to have. Good old Goal Zero Crush Lights. These things are great to have in your pack or at camp, but add a lot of light. Random hydration stuff, Platypus Big Zip Evo 3 liter. I drink a lot of water, so I like to have this thing filled up every day to throw in the backpack. Lecky Cork Light trekking poles. I've had these things eight plus years and they're still going. So I love them. No need to replace those. Garmin InReach Mini. We all have these things. We all need them. It's nice to be able to get a hold of somebody if you need to in an emergency situation. And uh, I can't recommend having one of these things enough. It's nice to check in with loved ones, friends, family, let them know how you're doing. Let them know when you killed that big bull elk. Good old Rocky Mountain Bugle Tube. I'm not sure with the dates that I have if the elk will still be screaming a lot. Some of the people that I've talked to that have had this hunt in the past have said that, or actually the past year, that have said that the elk are still bugling when they got up there and responding to calls. So I'm going to take this along with me um, and give it a shot. Uh, I've got this miscellaneous bag of stuff I carry with me. Kind of holds my headlamps. I've got a just old Milwaukee headlamp back up as a Petzl headlamp, random stuff, uh, compass, I always carry one of those, uh, a couple random charging cords, batteries, tenacious tape, more extra batteries, just stuff that anybody might need, I'll have it. And now on to optics. As with the rest of my system, Kuyu Pro Harness, I've got some Vortex Razor 12s that I use, and then I use a Nikon uh, Nikon Black 4K. Uh, this is a great little rangefinder I've grown to love. Um, it ranges well past anything I'm capable of shooting. So that's just kind of what, I, what I've been using for a while. Um, also, the big guys, my Swaro 1556s. Don't leave home without these things. I can't recommend this amazing piece of glass enough. It's just, it's been an absolute game changer in my life ever since I picked them up later last year. I'm just absolutely in love with these things. As for spotting scope, Vortex Razor HD spotting scope, 27 by 60. Uh, it's good and beat up. It's seen many years of use. It's a great spotting scope. And then for my tripod, since I shoot photos as well, uh, I have a Getso Traveler Zero and a Siru VA5 head on it like everybody else. Um, it was recommended to me, I think by Neville, 
a couple years ago and uh, just absolutely love this thing. It's a great little setup, nice and lightweight. And then uh, good old Thumbrest Z seat. I think all of us have these things, all of us use them. They're good and lightweight, nice to sit on, nice to stand outside of a tent at night if you need that. In your socks, uh, just, just a great little thing to add to your kit. Absolutely love this thing. Uh, that's kind of a roll through of my gear. This is uh, a pretty simple, fun hunt. Uh, it's a truck style hunt, so I don't need a ton of stuff. If you guys have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Just drop them in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.